Hey guys, Proper English here. As many of you know, I've done a lot of work with solid state logic. That means logic that doesn't use any pistons, so it has no moving parts. Now, recently, pistons have become a bit more stable, so I'm more inclined to use them in some of my builds. And today, we're going to go back and take a look at some of my old builds. We'll look at some solid state builds and some piston based builds, and we'll see where I use solid state, where I use pistons, and how each style can be advantageous in the right situations. We're going to start by taking a look at one of my favorite creations of all time, my 5 tick proper look ahead adder. So let's get started. A lot of the work that I've done in redstone has been in redstone computing and the circuit that I've got in front of me is a binary adder, but this is a very special binary adder because I developed some super tricky logic that makes this thing really fast. In fact, it rivals piston based adders in terms of its speed, although it's a little bit bigger. And so the first thing we'll do is a speed test so you can see how fast it is. And then I'll explain to you why I prefer solid state for my adders. So let's start off by taking a look at what this speed test will be. We're going to add one to the number that I've already entered into the adder. And it'll carry all the way down to this last bit over here. And these guys will turn off. The last bit will turn on. And you'll see these note blocks go off at the exact same time. This process will take four ticks. It's not the slowest operation of the adder. That takes five ticks, but I think this is a good demonstration. So I've got repeaters over here set to five ticks. We're going to subtract one for signal extension to our input. And when I flip this lever, the note blocks go off at the same time. That operation took four ticks. So that is super fast. But why did I build this thing? Well, let's take a little trip and I'll show you why. The gigantic circuit in front of me is my ellipse drawer. This thing draws ovals. And if you want to see it in action, check out the link that's popping up right now. But getting this thing to work involved rebuilding it twice. You can see that there are still some problems. I've got a dirt piston over here. And even if all of the issues were fixed, I'd probably still want to build this in solid state because having all these pistons going at the same time and running a clock on them ends up creating a lot of lag. And I want to use this in my GPU project. So this was the reason that I started rebuilding all of my circuits in solid state. Now, in spite of the fact that I'm focusing on a lot of solid state, there are still some situations where pistons are better. So let's check one of those out. One of my all time favorite uses for pistons is the piston based T flip flop. This thing is awesome. And T flip flops are useful in so many circuits. This thing is fast, it's responsive, and it's simple. All it is is a one tick pulse going into this piston. The piston drops its block over a torch and the output turns on. If we send in another input, we toggle it and the output turns off. It doesn't get any simpler than that. This is such a great design. Even when I rebuild this ellipse drawer, I'm still going to be using piston based T flip flops in the binary counter. We can fly over and I'll show you where the binary counter is. This thing rocks. There is not a better binary counter that I know of. We've got one up here and we've got one down here. Yeah, even when this is solid state, pistons will be hanging out over here in the binary counter area. So that's a situation where pistons are better than solid state. What about a situation where it's a choice, where pistons are just as good as solid state? Solid state is just as good as pistons. Let's take a look at some memory. I've got two different types of memory set up over here. We've got some repeater lock memory and we've got some piston based memory. The repeater lock memory, pretty cool. All we need to do is flip this lever and we save that input over here in the repeater. With the piston based memory, all we need to do is extend the piston and there we go, we've saved it. One thing that's kind of neat about this piston based memory is we can reset it very easily but we can also do that pretty easily with the repeater locks, except I think the best way to do it would be using a piston to cut the inputs and then save a zero. And yeah, so both of these are good. So this is a situation where it's really a choice. Personally, I'd probably go with the repeater locks because it's gonna cut down on lag in some of my larger creations. Let's take a look at one more example. This is an example where I would prefer pistons. We're gonna look at my barrel shifter. This is another computer component. It's called a barrel shifter and it's used to move data around. If you'd like to learn more about it, I've got a video link popping up right now. 
But the reason I wanted to show this to you is because in this case, pistons are allowing this circuit to be way more compact than it would have otherwise been. And so each of these pistons is part of a multiplexer. Now, piston-based multiplexers are awesome. I've got one set up right over here. And so what a multiplexer does is it takes two or more inputs and allows you to select one of them as the output. And so right now we're selecting the lower input. If I flip this lever, we're selecting the top input. And you can see that we can flip this guy on. The output is on. Now it's off. And same thing with the bottom. We can turn this off and the output will be off. So this is another great use of pistons. I don't think I'd want to use a solid state multiplexer because this thing is awesome. My hope for today's video is that it's given you some insight into how I decide whether or not I want to use pistons in one of my builds. In general, when I'm building something huge, I try to minimize my piston usage to minimize lag. But if there's a situation where pistons will be far better than solid state, then I'm going to go with pistons. The other thing that I really like about solid state logic is that it's silent. I didn't realize how loud pistons were until I started building solid state. And with that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.